Hello friends and welcome to AK Agrawal Aptitude Series. Friends, in this session we are going to learn a technique for solving a problem on clock. First, let us know some facts about the clock. This is a clock. Presently here you can see 12 o'clock is the time it is showing. Now, in one hour, minute hand moves 360 degree while the hour hand moves 30 degree. If we see the clock after one hour, this will the position of hour end and minute end. The larger hand, bigger hand is known as minute hand and shorter hand is known as hour hand. And in one hour, this minute hand will move this point to this point, means making an, an angle 360 degree. While the hour end, this hand, it will move this to this, making an angle 30 degree. This is the first point which always we should keep in mind while solving any problem based on clock. Another point, movement of minute hand in each minute. In one hour, it moves from this point to this point again, just this to this, making an angle 360 degree. So, it minute hand makes 360 degree angle in one hour or 60 minute. So, in every minute, it will move 360 upon 60 by 6 degree. Means, in every minute, it will move 6 degree and in 60 minute, it moves 360 degree. Now, if we see our end in one hour, it makes only 30 degree angle. In one hour, it makes only 30 degree angle. So, in each minute, it moves 30 upon 60 is equal to half degree. So, in one minute, minute hand moves 6 degree and our hand moves half degree. If we just consider these two combinedly because both of them are moving in the same direction per minute gain of minute hand over the hour end is equal to 6 minus half is equal to 5.5 degree. Means in every minute the angular difference between the hour end and minute hand will be 5.5 degree. So, just we have to remember this point every time. In every minute the minute hand will gain 5.5 degree over the hour end. If they are moving for 10 minutes, it means the angle between them in 10 minutes will be 5.5 into 10 that is 55 degree. So, we have to keep this much in our mind. Based on this concept, let us solve a problem. The first problem is what is the angle between the hour end and minute end of a clock at 225 pm. So, here angle given is 225. The angle between them will be 90, 87.5, 82.5 or 77.5 degree. So, just to answer this question, there are certain steps. Step 1, time 225 pm means 2 hours and 25 minutes. Okay. At 2 hours, angle between hour end and minute hand is 2 into 30 is equal to 60 degree because at 1 angle between them is 30 degree in last slide we have seen. So, when it is 2, if it is exactly 2, angle between them will be 60 degree at 2 pm. Now, in 25 minutes, now here it is 25, 25 minutes the minute hand will gain over the hour hand equal to 25 into 5.5 is equal to 137.5. So, exactly at 2 pm, the angle between hour end and minute hand is 60 degree, but in 25 minutes, there will be the minute hand will gain by 137.5 degree. So, the angle between the hands at 225 is the difference between step 2 and step 3. If we just find the difference of these two, we will get the correct answer. So, 137.5 minus 60 is equal to 77.5 degree. This is the answer. So, at 225 pm, angle between hour hand and minute hand will be 77.5 degree. Friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can also follow me on 